I'm Brianna, and this is How Many Men Has Penny Dated? In one of the most hilarious sequences of the Big Bang Theory, Sheldon did the math to calculate the number of men Penny had dated. In Sheldon's words, correcting for observation bias and postulate an initial dating age of 14, the left side of a bell curve peaking around the present that would bring the total up to 193 men, plus or minus 8 men. It's hard to document all of Penny's romantic moments from the seasons, but here are some of them. Rajesh Kuthrapali. Being a people pleaser, Raj decides to get Thai food and arranges a fancy dinner for them. Sheldon and Penny were amazed by the presentation, and after having the dinner together, Sheldon leaves to go to bed. Both were drunk and gave in to the adrenaline rush, and the next morning, they woke up horrified. Penny told Raj to act as if nothing happened, and in response, Raj only nodded his head. Penny was irritated to see Raj still unable to talk to her, and shouted at him, Really? Still can't talk to me? They came out of Leonard's room, having Raj wrapped in a duvet, and were more disgusted to find Howard, Leonard, and Sheldon present in their living room. Penny was ashamed and claimed, This is not what it looks like, and leaves the apartment. Even this awkward sequence turned out to be a hilarious one as Sheldon confusingly asked, what does it look like? Honestly, Penny had never dated Raj, but we feel this was one of the most embarrassing things that could ever happen between two friends. So we leave this to you to decide whether Raj can ever be concluded to be on her dating list. David Underhill. Penny meets David when he came to their apartment and falls for him immediately. She was surprised to see that David is not indoorsy, despite being a smart physicist. She tells David she loves science, and she wants a tour of the lab with him. This was quite strange, because she's been avoiding Leonard's offer of the lab tour, saying she has yoga classes to attend. Leonard was confused, and he couldn't understand why Penny can date David and not him. So he cried out, David Underhill! is 10 times smarter than me. You'd have to drive a railroad spike into his brain for me to beat him at checkers. Next to him, I'm like one of those sign language gorillas who knows how to ask for grapes. However, Penny understands that David is not a good fit for her and retorts Jenner Leonard's claim saying, David is not smarter than you, he's an idiot. Gretchen's fiance. Gretchen's fiance was seen in the tangible affection proof. Gretchen is Penny's former friend and her fiance was her ex-boyfriend. When Leonard and Penny and Howard and Bernadette were on a double date, Penny sees Gretchen and her boyfriend who proposes to her. He tells Leonard that he's the guy she used to date until he cheated on her with a friend Gretchen. Eric. Everyone was returning from the Renaissance Fair arguing about whether it was rife with historical inaccuracies or not. Meanwhile, they met Penny and Eric in the hallway. Earlier, Penny was explaining to Schrodinger's cat to Eric while walking up the stairs. They eventually meet Leslie and Leonard, and both the couple engaged in a kissing competition. We were not at all surprised to find that Penny was unbeatable in this competition, and Eric was never seen since then. Mike. Mike was Penny's ex-boyfriend, and was seen in the Nerdvana Annihilation episode. Mike was probably the worst boyfriend of Penny's. He posted several details of their intimate moments on his blog without her consent, which was quite a nasty thing to do. Zach Johnson. Zach Johnson has been on and off with Penny ever since the lunar excitation. Penny even got married to Zach once, accidentally though. Zach was always friendly to Penny and her group and made everyone laugh because of his stupidity. Honorable mention. There was also that musician who slept on Sheldon and Leonard's couch for a couple of nights.